In this lesson, we'll go over some tips on how to use the iPad keyboard. Here in the Notes app, I get a pretty standard keyboard. No .com button, like I had while typing in Safari's address bar. Of course, the keyboard can be used in landscape or portrait mode when you rotate the iPad. Depending on how the iPad is resting or how you might be holding it, you may want to type normally with two hands or with your thumbs. To make thumb typing easier, you can split the keyboard by swiping two fingers outward. This moves the keyboard to the edges of the display, making it easier for typing with your thumbs while holding it. Swipe with two fingers in inward to return the keyboard to its standard layout. You can also undock the keyboard by tapping and holding on the Hide Keyboard button here. This causes it to float up to the middle of the screen. You can also split the keyboard with this button as well. When you're finished using the keyboard, tap this key to hide it. When I first tap to begin typing, the keyboard automatically highlights the shift arrow to give me a capitalized first letter. To capitalize the second word, I need to tap the shift key to get one letter capitalized. Hold down the shift key to capitalize as you type. To turn on caps lock, double tap on either of the shift keys and they will turn a solid blue signifying that caps lock is on. Tap shift again to turn caps lock off. When you finish a sentence, to add a period you can always just tap the period key and then space to begin the next sentence. But with this keyboard some tricks are available to speed that up. At the end of a sentence, just two finger tap on the space bar to lay down a period and a space. You can do the same thing by double tapping with a single finger. Tapping and holding on certain keys will give you more options for that key. If I tap and hold on A, I get several accent options. This is true for several letters. Just tap and hold, then slide your finger to the key option you wish to use. This also works for punctuation marks. I'll tap the punctuation and numbers button here to display more punctuation options. Tap and hold on the dash key for more dash options, or the dollar sign for more currency options. There's one other trick for adding a quick apostrophe or quotation mark. Back in the standard keyboard, if I want a quick apostrophe, I can just swipe up on the comma key. Swipe up on the period key for a quick quotation mark. More times than not, when you're in need of an apostrophe, you actually won't need to worry about entering one. iOS will put an apostrophe in for you. If I type the word let's, I get the apostrophe entered automatically. iOS also checks your spelling as you type. So if I misspell justice, the correctly spelled word appears below. Just tap the space bar to accept the corrected word. Sometimes iOS won't present the right correction. In that case, just tap on the correction to ignore it. In the case of the word yellow, as I type the correction, hello appears. But if I finish yellow with the final W, the correction will just go away on its own. You can turn off a lot of these automatic functions in the Settings app. Go to General and down to Keyboard. Here I can switch things off like auto capitalization, auto correction, and spell check as I type. International keyboards can also be added here. Down at the bottom, I can enter quick letter combinations that will be recognized as phrases on the iOS keyboard. 
there is one provided for you. Type OMW and the phrase on my way will appear. Let's add a new shortcut for the phrase thanks have a great day. So I'll enter that phrase and the shortcut for it will be TGD. You want the shortcut to be short obviously but also not a word. So let's go try this now. I'll type in OMW and on my way fills in. I just need to tap the spacebar to accept it and move on. Now let's try TGD. And there's my phrase. Next, we'll look at how to go about not using the keyboard by doing voice dictation. 